Lim's here. Just come down. Come on. I'm scared. I think I've climbed up too high. You know I'm afraid of heights. Come on. Hello and welcome to The Shambles once again with Sos, Valvo and Lynchy. I am Lynchy and of course the man to my right as always. Uh, if Orlando Bloom's beard ever goes missing in a tragic accident like Harold Holcroft or Harold Bishop when he <laughs> fell off the thing, this is the man's beard will replace. His name is Anthony Zell. We just call him Sos because it's a lot fun and I can't be bothered learning Lazy. his whole name. Lazy. Laziness. And of course The Shambles wouldn't be The Shambles. It wouldn't be a whole, it wouldn't be complete. Without the man to my left, as always, who's who's not actually as fat in real life as he is on screen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, Dom DeLuise. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Nathan Balbo. Please call him Balbo. I was actually going to bag you for not being funny, but that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that Dom was Dom pretty good. You were up all night last night trying to think of someone. Just, I had a list of fat people. Um, uh, now, guys, we're, it's about four. We're, we're about, oh, about a few. Or are four we are. We're full we about are. four weeks in, and. and you know, that's that's almost half the series, quarter yeah, of the series way the through. Series. And because mm. it's quarter way series, I mm. suppose. Well, for me anyway, the offers have just been rolling in, rolling. absolutely flooding in. <laughs> like today, on the way in to the studio, uh, this lady, studio here, this very studio, some lady offered if I wanted to buy a watch from her. That's a, nice of her. A genuine, and I did, and it was a <laughs> genuine Folex watch. A Folex. A Folex, and she gave it to me cheap, just because I'm on the shambles. Really? It's crazy. Genuine Folex. Yeah, no, idea. There's not even a... Can you there's, get, no, there's not actually there's, a watch on there. It's no, just it's the no, band. no, no, no. That, this is just the band. <laughs> and the rest of it's coming in the mail with the Later warranty. Later on. With the warranty. Just because I'm on the shambles. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nathan, what about you? Oh, look. My offers have just been rolling in and flooding in just like you, Sauce. So like, <laughs> I am you talking... Steal my stuff. Yeah, I am it's talking, okay. Oh, I say no. I say, no, I'm loyal to you two, and I'm on the shambles, so I won't. You know, Mr. Channel 9 executive, you can take your late night with Valvo idea and take it back to the office. I don't want Daryl Summers hosting job. I want to stay here at the shambles. That's what I said to him. I said, Mr. Channel 9 executive, get out of my car. So that's what I said to him. And well, what, did, what did he say? Well, he said, um, you get out of my car, what's your name, and maybe pants would be a good idea. Oh. Weird. But anyway, still offers. What about you, Lynchy? you got to have something, Lynchy. Guys, I mean, you know, it's me. It's Even me though you are know. just the host. Oh, no. no look, I've, <laughs> I've got, I'm just, they've just been like flooding, rolling flooding in. Flooding in and rolling and, like, in? I had people carrying them in, like mm. in backpacks. Mm. Um, like, a, like, like easy, like a hundred at least. A hundred and, and like 70. Not a hundred and seventy, probably sixty-five. Um, oh, it depends if you take out the ABC one. It's probably twelve. Twelve offers. Uh, twelve. 12 offers. Six. Six. Um, even a cool sort of none. Yeah, I thought so. None. It's because you crap. Shit, cops. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Are you aware of how fast you were going back there? 50? 55. It's a 70 zone. <clears throat> I climbed to its highest closing point on. I am so over this war. I mean, who even cares about it? My brother's an Australian soldier and he was captured by the Taliban and they tortured him for three weeks and removed his legs. Now he's mentally scarred for life. So, um, I care. Oh, moment number 243. Hello, bro! <laughs> Hiya, bro! Hiya, bro! Yeah, see you. Yeah, see you working here now, bro. It's got a new job, huh? Yeah. 
I went down the calls before and they said, nah, you, you, you quit or something, man. Eh? Yeah, 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 I kind of just had to get away from it all. Yeah, no, it's all right, man. Eh? How'd, how'd you find out I was here? Oh, you know, I called a few people, talked to a few people, and you know, people, and, you know, my connections, you know, they know everything. I can find out anything, you know. Plus, we rent the house, yeah. I was a nice lady, you know, yeah. Hey, where you going? Oh, you got work to do, you know, no, sick, sick, sick. Oh, that's alright, don't worry about it. Anyway, speaking of dropping stuff, right? I was at this club the other night. Anyway, there was this chick, and she was mad. She was one of the maddest that I've heard of so far, you know? What was her name? Her name was like, um... Her name was like, you know, Mariah Carey or something. I don't know. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. No, I don't know if it was her. It was, you know, just, that was her name, you know? It was a coincidence, isn't it? Speaking of going to 60 seconds, bros, the other night, I reckon I picked up at least 67 birds in 60 seconds, bro. Mm -hmm. 60 seconds, you know, Six one seven. thing, two. So one every 10 seconds. Yeah, about that, you know. Because yeah, I know, like, I know, like, everybody. This was at this place, it was called, um, it was out in, uh, out in, uh, at, uh, Phenomena Street or something. Hey, bro. Seriously? Hey, take it easy. Yeah. Hey, you know, working here, you know, with all the videos and shit. You, you must got roots all the time now that you started working here, yeah? Man, man, all my jobs are talking to fish shots, a concreter, when I get rich off my uncles, bros, any job, you know, don't worry about that. Where are they tonight then? Yeah, well, I can't take a night off or something, you know, it gets busy, you know, you gotta, you know, relax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're a dickhead anyway, man, why don't I keep talking to you for? Oh my god, I thought the Silly's garden was a lot better than the yeah. first time I saw it. Yeah, definitely. How you going, boys? How you going, mate? Uh, I'll describe our bourbon and coke. I'll have a pina colada. Mm. Anyway, so there's a nun, a priest, and Michael Jackson, and they're on a plane, and the plane's about to crash. Mate, look what the time is. Oh, shit. Sauce! Oh, shit, you're right. We're never gonna make it like this. Serious? Yeah. I can only think of one way how we're gonna make it on time. Oh, no. You reckon? Shambles budget. Lynchy, I only bought a zone one. What about you? I bought a zone two. Oh, oh that's not good. That hurt me ass. Plus, plus the peanuts. I don't like the weather today. Hmm. Oh, look, that's better. Uh. That is my house. So, how many times I told you not to light up in the car? Well, what's it gonna do? <laughs> Why are you breathing like a dog? Because I ate one. Come on, sit down. Hi and welcome. No, to no, no, we're hey. Never gonna host it. Ah! <laughs> Hitflex. Hitflex. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a Shambles 100th Minute Spectacular! <laughs> And Garrett the Bear is joining us. And Garrett's here. Oh, oh, kids, we've been on air for 100 minutes now. 100 minutes. That is a milestone in television. 100 minutes. Hamish and Andy didn't even get that far. Seems like only last minute we were on for like 99. I you know. know but that just... is poor. And we've come we've a long way. Like that, we're not even going to get to 110 minutes. Exactly. But like, we don't know what to do. Look, like, how do you celebrate 100 minutes of being on air? Because there's only a, a few, a there's only a few select shows in Australian television that history ever make it that, mm. that have actually hit 100 minutes. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. Um, mm. uh, Prisoner, mother and son. Prisoner. Totally um, wild. Chances. Totally wild. Unfortunately, still going. Mm. Yeah, but so, yeah. we, how do you celebrate 100 minutes? Ocean Girl. <laughs> how do you Good. celebrate 100 minutes? Let's do it like Ocean Girl did it. How they um, <laughs> what? When, and how, swim with a whale. <laughs> no, everyone did their own little flashback to their favourite. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. You sure that was Ocean Girl? Hey, hey, it's Saturday, Ocean Girl. I get confused. Can I start? No. Cool. <laughs> All right. Rudeness. See? 
Selfie. My favourite memory so far of the shambles would have to be when, uh, the day you were busy, I think yep. you were, had a hair show or something that you had to go for, to, um, and you sent in a fill-in, yeah. and no yeah, one, yeah. you no guys, one the knew. actual no audience, one no, one, no one noticed. So that's my favourite memory. To my right, as oh, always, this is Anthony's yeah. yellow, but you can just call him Sauce, it's a lot easier. Sauce, how are we? Good. Um, and of course, the shambles wouldn't be the shambles, wouldn't be a hole without the man. To my right, Nathan Valvo. Sauce, Lynchy, how are you today? No, pretty good, pretty good. That's good. Uh, Sauce. Memories. Mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. my favourite moment would be the time that you, Nath, came in hungover. And, uh, and he was pretty bad, mm. but mm. no one at home noticed. No. You were in a bad way anyway. Weren't you, mm. Nath? Weren't you? I remember. Mm. I remember. Mm. Weren't you, Nath? Um, mm -hmm. Weren't you? I, I was just a little you? bit over, but a little bit stupid. <laughs> 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 That, that was, was the man. Yeah, yeah, that's how he's doing it. Yeah, no, I've never felt so sick in my life. I think they that time when we Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope no one's filming me right now. It took days to clean that up. The place was a mess. I was vomiting blood. Um, another favourite memory mm. would have to be, I think, episode one. And we're all oh, a little bit... the way back then. Yeah, we were a little oh, bit nervous. Ages ago. We were young. It was like a hundred minutes ago. Yeah, we were not even have pubes. <laughs> Lynchy still doesn't. But, um, yeah, so, like, it was, we're all a bit nervous, but Lynchy has the tough gig of hosting, so you had oh, to yeah. talk first. Yeah, it was the first time I'd, I'd ever done it. And, um, I don't know if any of you guys noticed again, but, uh, you got mm. stage fright. Just a little bit. Mm. Again. Not sexually. Show. I can't believe they installed a screen up there for us to look at it. <laughs> right, it's just convenient. Yeah, but all the dust is falling on my chin. <laughs> Mate, hence the itchiness. <laughs> anyway. Um, the Shambles isn't all about memories on our 100th Minute Spectacular. No. Um, we, we've also received a lot. I mean, if if you remember Hey Hey It's Saturday's last episode, there were people like giving, you know, congratulations Shambles. It wasn't that guy doing that voice. <laughs> anyway, so we checked the Shambles answering machine and there were mountains of ants in my backyard, but there was also <laughs> lots, there was also lots of messages on our uh, machine from famous people saying congratulations. Because everyone loves the Shambles apparently and everyone watches it. Hmm. And so should you. So let's listen to the, uh, the impersonations, the messages. and who vote should make it that far? Nobody! Especially not me, cause you're crap! Bye now, Negro! Shambles! Oh, congratulations! Oh, this is John Farnham! 100 minutes! Oh, spectacular! You know, keep your pants on! I gotta go! My hair's on fire! Get it? True love when, you, when your hair's on fire! Fantastic! Hello Shambles, it's Velda from Neighbours here. I'd just like to say, have you seen my poodles? Cause I can't find them. G'day Shambles, this is Samuel Johnson. The Shambles hitting their 100th minute on television. Almost as satisfying as a Hungry Jack's flame grilled whopper. Can I have a job, please? Hello, Shambles. This is Cornelia Francis. Congratulations are in order for hitting your 100th minute spectacular. Very well done. Lynchy, I have seen you naked. You are definitely the weakest link. Goodbye. Hi, Shambles. This is Michael Jackson. Live from the state penitentiary. I'm using my one phone call to tell you guys how great it is that you've been on for 100 minutes. I've been watching your shows with all my friends. Tito and Bubbles and Macaulay and Magenta and Phil. Hey Shambles, this is Trixie Boner, the organizer of the Sydney Mardi Gras. Congratulations on hitting 100 minutes. What a fantastic thing to do. Well done, Sauce. We love you in the gay community. Congratulations, Shambles. I have balls. Sam, Henry, Adam, Little Timber, Tommy, uh... Hello, 
shambles, this is Lynn Scully from Neighbours. Just saying congratulations on 100 minutes. Oh, Joe's not here. No, oh, Joe. Uh, good day, Shambles. It's Sam Newman here. What an absolute fantastic achievement is to get to 100 minutes in television. I mean, I, I can barely get through 100 minutes without getting run over by a car. What an absolute disgrace. Valvo, get a new laugh, you idiot. Good afternoon, Shambles. This is Harold Bishop, and I'm calling from the coffee shop to say congratulations on 100 minutes. It's fantastic. Hi Shambles, this is Madge Bishop from Neighbours. Just calling to say congratulations on hitting 100 minutes. When I heard you were hitting 100 minutes, I said, Harold! 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 We hate catching public transport. I mean, there's just, there's too many weirdos around. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, have a look at that bloke, he is plastered. I'm going to show for channel 31. I just saw that parking... How are you going today? Hi mate, good <laughs> yeah. We're from the Channel 31 show called The Shambles, and uh, we're hitting our 100th minute spectacular this episode. We're wondering what you think we should do to celebrate. Drink 100 beers. Drink 100 beers. Uh, and what, what do you think we should well, do? I, look, I, I think I agree with him. I think 100 beers is a great idea. No, because my father was an alcoholic and he abused me, so... How do you think we should um, celebrate our 100th minute on television? What do we have to do? Put on some clothes, perhaps? Uh, we're coming up to our 100th minute on television, and we're just wondering, how do you reckon we should celebrate it? Get naked? Oh gosh, I don't know. By um, telling everyone 100 jokes? <laughs> we don't tell jokes on this show. Remind our viewers where they might have seen you from. You might have seen me in Hey Dad. Hey Dad. He is, yes. Where is he today? Dad. He's in Sydney doing a lot of voiceovers and music. and. Uh, He's in rehab, isn't he? Yeah, he is. How do you think we should uh, celebrate um, our 100th minute on TV? What are you doing today? Just hanging out at the beach. I thought you were going to a funeral. Still talk to Betty? I see her now and then. She also lives in Sydney. Um, she's such an intelligent, wonderful woman. She I heard she was on crack, but... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you could, like, have a big rave at Luna Park or something. That's what I think I might do. I'd come along. I could get my friends to come to. Are you on drugs? You've got a growth in the middle of your forehead. Yeah. No, this is your first hundred minutes. First oh, hundred you're minutes. coming up any, now, any minute now. Any you? minute now. Are you a fan of Billy Connolly at all? Uh, oh. uh, how you going, buddy? Are you uh, Dave O'Neill from Music Kate and Dave? No. Which one are you? No. <laughs> We've been rehearsing that one all day. Just a quick question. Yeah, I've got it. I'm very insecure. That's all right. Now, just a quick question. We're hitting our 100th minute spectacular this episode. We've been on air for 100 minutes. Wow. How do you think we should celebrate it? By, uh... Just having a good time, I suppose. <laughs> Go on, Yuzi. Where's the material? Uh, well, just, uh, yeah. Just remember all the good times and... These other 99 minutes of magic. Yeah, absolutely. 100 minutes on channel 31. You are sauce, so, aren't you? Mate, go videotape chicks, man. There's laws against that. <laughs> Here we are in the park made famous by the Seeker Life of Us. And who knows, maybe we just might find a Seeker Se Life of Us. Oh, sauce, predictability meetup, oh, oh, through the roof. Or oh, in St Kilda, oh, Seeker Life of Us. God, you might as well go and talk to the big face at Luna Park. Here we are talking to the big face. So, um, you do realise that that's not even a bit of clothing, it's a bit of kind of cloth. Yeah. I think that's actually one of her skirts. On your radio show, did you celebrate your 100th minute? I don't think so. That would have occurred on our first show, wouldn't it? So we probably did, but not in any memorable way. Can you remember your 100th stand-up gig? No, I don't really count. Do you know if I have my way, this interview's going to go for 100 minutes? Let's hope that you don't always get your way. <laughs> How you going? What's your name? What's your favourite TV show, Gabriella? What do you think we should do for our 100th minute spectacular? Explain to me the theory of relativity. Oh, jeez, Louise. Um, 
Who's Louise? <laughs> and we're celebrating our 100th minute spectacular. And yeah, I don't really give a toss, to be honest. See, that's why people love the English. Husey, thanks for your time, buddy. You guys are great, and I've always respected what you did. Shambles is the best show on any form of TV. <laughs> Alright? Thanks, go. buddy. And I see you've got the guitar. Yes. Now, I was wondering if you could make up a little jingle or something, or place a bit of a song for the 100th minute. Do you know? Give us a beat. A beat? Or something, I don't know. What do you... Spanish? I don't know. Yeah. How do you rap to Spanish? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, officer. How are you today? Yeah, good, thanks. Just a question. Have you had any drinks today? No, none at all. Okay. I'd just like you to take one long, continuous breath. Until I say stop. Okay, that's great. Thanks for that. My daughter's fourth birthday. Run out of helium. I have shit on my face, don't I? Yeah, you do. Well, that's about all the time we have for yet another edition of It the wasn't show. just whoa, yet whoa, another. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, Stop I talking it down. Whoa. There was a milestone occurred this episode. 100 minutes on television. Mm, minutes. So First the introduction of colour television, then the shambles hit 100 minutes. And then Ocean Girl. And, and Ocean Ocean Girl. Um, remember, if you want to contact us about Ocean Girl or uh, our 100 Minute Spectacular, please email us at shamblestv at hotmail.com. As always, you, do you know think, it by Do now. you think by doing that it actually makes them email us? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if we present it like Joe Bailey. Hey, let's, let's do reverse psychology. Don't email us. Do it's not work. Yeah. email us. And, uh, at all. Mm, shamblestv at hotmail.com. And I think we should... I think I'm happy with the way this, this episode's ended because I think we've got through the whole series all however hundred minutes it is without doing anything unoriginal like we I don't think we've I think these guys agree with me we I haven't bordered on something that's uh, that's been done before mm. we're television first so mm. I guess that leaves it's up to me to say goodbye tonight because it's I'm the man that's lynchy the man to my right as always he was Anthony Zeller the man they call Soss the man mm. over to my left as always was Nathan Valvo you just called him Valvo for today and once you called him Phil it was a bit uncomfortable <laughs> But today's show was a shambles and we definitely are the shambles. <laughs> How's it taste? Uh, that's comedy. That's comedy right there. <laughs>